Okay, so we tried out a new coffee place today. We sure did. Sure did. <laughs> Thank you, Christina. Christina Beck um, commented and said that it was a place to check out, and she was right. It right. was delicious. So originally, we were going to go off of the article from the Albuquerque mag the magazine, and uh, but we had somebody make a comment that go and check out this place and so we did so please leave comments so that we can check out your favorite place and and review it as well um but castle coffee dang that's some good coffee so what were our thoughts so um the latte yes. it was delicious it was perfect yes i mean spot on just a good latte. Mm -hmm. I mean, nothing frilly about it or anything like that. It was just, it was a good, solid latte. Absolutely. Hey guys. It's delicious. It's really delicious. So, proper latte. Proper latte. Okay. The coffee is there. The cream mellows it out. Love it. Absolutely. Awesome. He proved last time he, uh, two years yeah. And then the two house specialties, he said that what they pride themselves in and what their most ordered drink is are two different things. Right. So he gave us two. Uh, the most ordered uh, drink was the honey lavender latte, which was delicious. It was delicious. It was a little sweet for us, but we're more of a latte, more, or even I'm getting used to black coffee. So, um, we don't do a lot of sugar. But if you like a sweet coffee, I mean, it was delicious. Don't get me wrong, the thing was really good. And uh, just a little on the sweet end for us, but hey, people like sweet coffees, so. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the honey lavender. Okay. And it's beautiful. It is, look at that. It's got like a swan on there and the foam art. Which is a big deal because you don't like lavender. I don't like lavender like at all. Um, it actually gives me just an instant headache. And this did not so far. <laughs> but no, it's very good. It's soothing. Okay. You know, honestly, it's um. How would you explain it though, other than soothing? Your feel, but like the flavor and. It's a really good balance of the lavender and honey and then of the coffee, right. you know, but it it does almost overshadow the coffee. Um, I hit honey first, so it's sweet, but it's not sugar sweet. It's got that, like, deeper, warmer tone of honey, then followed by the lavender, then the coffee, then the cream. So, I can't remember, was this one the best seller or their, this like, their, signature? This is their best seller. Okay. And um, he had said that somebody just, they didn't have it on the menu. Somebody came in and special ordered it, and then their friends ordered it, and their friends ordered it. So it was kind of a word of mouth that became a good seller, their best seller. And then what they pride themselves in is their uh, connects, their pour over. And right. Like we were saying earlier, it was the, they're pushing the craft of it all, so without the pretentiousness, and so it was it was definitely a crafted um, pour over. It was, uh, it was really good, fantastic pour over. Of the three drinks, I think you, you said that your favorite was the pour over. It was the right? pour over, and it was an Ethiopian blend, or uh, not an Ethiopian blend, but an Ethiopian coffee that they used, and um, you get that that blueberry hints and all that stuff in the Ethiopian coffee and it was definitely present in there in this pour over and just a smooth coffee that you could drink black which I did and enjoyed it thoroughly there's no spike to it there's no bitterness it's 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 almost sweet with it being a black coffee so I mean I think you could add a little bit of cream to it and just really enjoy this thing. If you, even if you're a sweet coffee drinker. So Jocelyn, yeah. examining the cups. They're warm. Um, they pre-warm the cup so that the coffee doesn't lose any 
So I know we were talking about not being pretentious, but I believe that's called being tempered. It's a tempered glass, the cup. I'm okay if you're pretentious, just not me. Okay. So it came in like a, a little. Yeah. Thank you. What would you call that? Carafe. It's a carafe. Okay, so, I mean, you but it's, don't it's a cool setup. So, anyway, here's their pour over. It smells so good. I'm not sure I need to do this. Coffee isn't my thing. Black coffee isn't my thing. But it is very good. It's even better. It's a little bit of half and half. Perfect. It is very good. <laughs> the next was the atmosphere. Atmosphere was, I would call it almost country com comfortable. You had the, the light greens and the whites. It was very bright, clean lines. Uh, comfortable. We could sit there for hours, I think. Uh, I did notice that it was a younger crowd in there, but I would say not obnoxious. <laughs> but no, very friendly, uh, and, I, and I think we're going to get into this a little later with the, our comfort, so I don't want to step on my own toes, but uh, it was inviting. Okay, so what was our next note? Uh, the next one is location. location. So, smack in the middle of downtown. Right. Uh, so it's on the corner of Tijeras and 8th Street. So it's real easy to get to. I mean, the parking is, you've got to park on the side of the streets, downtown is what happens. And, uh, but uh, real easy to get to. We found it a couple of turns. All right, so our next note on our questions is seating. What would you say about their seating? It's comfortable. It's very comfortable. So we'll, we'll put in a picture here of the, of the room, because it's, it's, it's a smaller place, but, uh, I say you it was could, a lot of seating for yeah, the size. No, of definitely. And they do have seating outside if you prefer being out. And it's a beautiful day today, so it would have been perfect to be outside. But being inside was pretty awesome, too. Uh, yeah, There's lots this, of plugs. Yeah. So it seemed like a great place, especially being downtown, uh, to work, to meet with people, to right. do school and homework. Um, I counted 16 plugs. Lots of places to charge a computer and a phone. <laughs> Priorities. Right. So. Seating was good. And next point I think is comfort. So I, I touched on this a little bit earlier about the comfort that the ambiance was very welcoming and, and stuff like that. But the staff and the owner were just super friendly. Right. And, and one of the, the things on the, the wall was talking about uh, being servant minded. And uh, that that's their, their motto of the shop. And in that, they just wanted people to feel welcome and and feel like they they belong there. Um, that was one of the questions someone came up and said, "What does that mean?" They're like, "We want we're your butlers," is what he said for the next hour or so while you're here. And so it was definitely very welcoming. The owner seemed to know most of the people by name if they had come before. He definitely asked us our names and wanted to know us and started talking to us and asking questions, you know, just made us feel welcome and at home. So the comfort level of this place, it's it's above the charts. So these guys are doing a really good job at making people feel welcome and feel like they're not rushed and need to get out, uh, get your coffee and go. Um, but this, it was definitely comfortable. And uh, I gotta say guys, uh, they were busy the entire time and it never felt crowded or anything like that. Um, there was just a steady flow of people coming in. So you definitely got to come and check out this place. Uh, it's obviously a favorite of a lot of people mm -hmm. and uh, it's, I really liked it too. So, What's our next note? Overall impressions. Overall impression. I think I kind of already touched on some of that. <laughs> it's just welcoming. Uh, the coffee's fantastic. There's nothing uh, about the place that I had any anything negative to say about it. Right. So um, overall, they're fantastic. very um, like farm to table. So he's yes. very local minded. There's local artists. There's uh, local candles, local roasters, local um, 
even the t-shirts for the shop and the stickers are made here in town. Right. So I just thought that that was great. I love when people support local and... Right, it definitely has a community feel to it. So that was, that was fantastic. I really like that. So with that, go try out Castle Coffee, downtown Tejeros on 8th Street. Fantastic place. Meet the owner, meet the, the staff that's working there. They're all friendly and fun, you know. So uh, that's our review of Castle Coffee. Check it out.